Hello, uh, in this video we will show you how to make uh, chole and kulche at home from scratch. These chole and kulche are very famous dish and in you can serve you can enjoy this with a pickle or yogurt and uh, onion is optional. So let's start to make a chole and kulche in this video. Okay, so first we will see how to make a chole, and I have this uh, bowl full garbanzo beans or chole soaked in the water overnight. So I will transfer these in. I have washed them with the water first, and then. It, it, transfer into pressure cooker and then uh, we'll add this uh, I have taken some whole masala which is a uh, cloves and a small cardamom and one big cardamom and this is a um, cinnamon stick and then this is pomegranate seeds or anardana Dalcini, Badi Laichi, Choti Laichi and uh, Long and then I have taken one tea bag so I will put this one tea bag and then half a teaspoon uh, baking soda and then I have taken one more empty tea bag so I will fill this bag with these uh, whole garam masala and then put this bag in the pressure cooker so let's add some more water first so that we need to boil them and then add a salt according to your taste and now I will make a pack of uh, these garam masala into this tea bags these one So um, I actually added uh, all the pomegranate or anardana into this tea bag and make a bag. So otherwise they comes in the bite. So I added this in the water. Chola and remaining uh, whole masala I am adding as such. And now I will boil this uh, in the pressure cooker and we will see how this come. So this, uh, in this way you will get uh, all the garam masalas flavor into the garbanjo beans and the tea will give some brown color and the baking soda and tea combination will help uh, in cooking these garbanjo beans very nicely. So let's boil them. So now I am going to open, I have boiled this. Uh, Garbanjo beans and chole. Let's open and check how they come. It's very nice. You can see they are all very nicely cooked and slightly brown in color. So now it's time to remove the tea bag from here. And uh, remove the another. This is pomegranate seed packet to remove this also. And then there is some water. So I will remove some excess water. I think this is too much. Probably I don't want to use that all that. And this will be enough. And in this, if I need some more water, I can use this um, same water into my chola. So I will push them to crush some of them so that it can make some good gravy and then I'm going to add in this one this is a red chili powder according to taste and this is a mango powder 
and then jeera powder this is garam masala and then this is chaat masala and then dhaniya powder and this is uh, black salt and then and then garam masala so i have different type of garam masala salt and i added everything here we'll mix it this give very good flavor it's slightly have some gravy also you can see and now i am heating this uh, clarified butter in this pan it's a ghee spoon in the big spoon so once it will be really hot i will add this into my chola so this is a good enough heated you can see some film the small films are coming and it's time to add this into clear fried butter and then close it and last part is to make the fry then i will close this so that it can absorb some the smell of masalas and into the clarified butter and last part i will fry them now to fry the chola i have added some clarified ghee or butter and then we'll add onion ginger fresh ginger add little bit of salt here it will allow to cook so now it's ready and then i will add tomato so now this is almost ready we we'll add pora then i will cook them slowly for some time they look very nice
and here I'm going to add one more thing it's a uh, tamarind powder tamarind uh, water actually it's not tamarind powder tamarind water and then let's cook for some time slow in the slow flame heat so that all the masalas and flavor absorb in this chola now you can see they are boiling and they are almost they are ready now to serve so I will close this uh, heating and uh, now it's hot so it's ready to serve let's enjoy this chola with kulche so you will see how these taste it smells very nice so now in this video we will start to make a kulche so to make kulche we I have taken here some all-purpose all flour maida and then in which uh, I'm going to add uh, this is a baking powder so quarter teaspoon baking powder a little bit more not much and then I will add in this one two teaspoon uh, yogurt the heat and then I will add a little bit salt not much just pinch of salt and uh, I will add uh, two tablespoon vegetable oil if you want you can add butter also unsalted butter or ghee and then we'll make a dub of this I'm take I'm using this a uh, little bit lukewarm water and for that you need to use uh, your hand this is how you have to make a dub and after making its nice dough I will keep this in a little bit warm place for two hours so that dough can become very nice I'm not using this time yeast only yogurt and uh, baking soap powder so add a little bit more warm water make a nice dough so now you can see this is a dough is ready so I will keep this for some time at least two hour in close container in a little bit warm place so it will rise and then after that we will see how to next to do so now let's uh, make it ready this uh, all-purpose dough I have left for two hour almost and it's still it's a little bit soft but I will make it ready so I will add some more all-purpose flour and keep doing this it's always better to make uh, layers we need to knead as much as possible so as you will need it will make very good and crispy non
so now I'm keep me kneading this one and you can see this become very soft and so I will add some more maida all purpose flour and make a layer like this keep turn over and knead so this is almost ready to make kulche and for kulche we are making going to make a potato kulche so i have to prepare potato for this one this flour is almost ready to make so you can see this is very nice and soft is ready okay now i will make a potato for filling in the kulche so because i am making a potato kulche so this is a mashed boiled potato two potato and then in this one i will add some salt according to taste and this is black salt a small amount of red chili and then dhania powder coriander powder and then little bit garam, garam masala so i will add everything here and then this is kasuri method which is very important ingredient in this one and then uh, i will mix it and then this potato will be ready for filling in the kulcha you can add uh, if you want chaat masala also to make it more tasty or according to flavor okay so this potato is ready now to fill in the kulchas and we'll make it now we are ready to make a uh, our kulche so i'm using the same dough and then make a small bowl bowl and roll then we can add a small amount of potato and then make a ball again to cover them we are going to add some seeds these are sesame seed white sesame seed and the, on the other side uh, we will add coriander leaves you can also use a kasuri methi also but here we can also make a through our hand fingers so let's put on the so before putting on iron pan we will add some water on one side and then we will put this on the hot iron pan so now to we'll see very soon it will i'm using only iron pan not the non stick pan okay. 
once it will be grilled on one side then uh, you can see you can just turn it down and then grill underneath and it will you can see it start making bubbles Now let's see how it works. Oh, very nice. You can see it's, it's all ready. Our kucha is ready. You can easily remove it and put in this. Now I will apply some uh, butter or clarified ghee. It's called desi ghee. So this is ready for kulcha and uh, chole. We can serve this with onion, green chilies, and uh, pickle, mango pickle. Hope you like this video and enjoy this delicious dish, chole and kulche.